Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on working with and managing placement of guides within Illustrator. It works a little bit differently than it does in InDesign and Photoshop, so I want to show you how to do that in Illustrator. So the first thing you have to do is have your rulers on. So Command or Control R if they're not already on. You can see them along the top and the left hand side of your document. To pull a guide, you simply mouse over one of the rulers and you drag out. So now I'm pulling a, horizontal, a vertical guide. If I hold Shift, it'll automatically snap to positions along the ruler. So six, five, five four and a half, four, etc. So that's great, but if I don't hold shift, I can just drop one kind of anywhere I want. If I want a horizontal guide, I drag from the top roller. Now, I want to have these positioned in a very specific location. So I'll come into Window, Transform, and this is how I control the position of my guides. Now, in order to do this, the guides have to be unlocked. So if they're not unlocked, you can't select them. Choose View, Guides, Lock Guides to uncheck that. You need that to be unchecked. So then I can select this guide here and I want to change the y-axis and I want this to be at exactly four inches so that moves that guide to exactly four inches and I want this one to be on the x-axis at exactly four inches so that moves that to four inches. So I can just control the position of them via the transform panel. Pretty easy. One other trick I want to show you with guides is that you can convert any shape or path on your artboard into a guide. So I can draw a circle and then with that circle selected I choose view guides make guides shortcut commander control 5 and turn any vector object or path into a guide great when you need non-traditional guides to follow for your artwork thanks for watching this is so heidi